Welcome to Chapter 2 of our story, where the mysteries of the Lumina Library await. As the heavy wooden doors creak open, a gust of musty air envelopes our young adventurers. The library, with its towering shelves of ancient tomes and the faint scent of parchment, feels both inviting and foreboding. Mr. Whitaker, the town's venerable librarian, stands at the threshold, his long white beard and round spectacles giving him an air of wisdom. Welcome, my young adventurers, he intones, his voice a low rumble that echoes through the cavernous space. Today, they will uncover the whispers of the past. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this enchanting tale. The children exchange glances, a mixture of excitement and trepidation flickering in their eyes. Evelyn, her heart racing, feels the weight of her grandmother's stories pressing down on her. Each tale of Lumina's history had been a thread woven into the fabric of her childhood. And now, standing in the heart of that history, she feels both small and significant. As they venture deeper into the library, the atmosphere shifts. Shadows dance along the walls, and the flickering light from the lanterns casts eerie shapes that seem to pulse with life. It is here, in this labyrinth of knowledge, that the children will confront the spectral guardians, figures from Lumina's past, each embodying a lesson, a fear, or a truth that the children have yet to face. The first guardian emerges from the shadows, a tall figure draped in a cloak that shimmers like the night sky. I am the keeper of secrets, the guardian intones, its voice a haunting melody. What do you seek, children of Lumina? Evelyn steps forward, her voice trembling yet resolute. We seek to understand the power outages and the history of our town. The guardian's eyes glimmer with an otherworldly light, and it gestures toward a dusty tome resting on a pedestal. To understand the light, you must first confront the darkness within yourselves. Jake, feeling the weight of his skepticism, hesitates. The Guardian's presence stirs something deep within him, a fear of inadequacy that has haunted him since childhood. Lila, sensing Jake's turmoil, places a reassuring hand on his shoulder, her warmth grounding him. We can do this together, she whispers, her voice a gentle breeze against the storm of doubt swirling in Jake's mind. As they approach the tome, the air thickens with tension. The Guardian's gaze bears into them, challenging them to confront their fears. Evelyn feels a surge of determination. She will not let the shadows of the past dictate their future.